And so we're in the office right now talking about some of the ridiculous ways that people sometimes come home from short-term mission trips. And I'm going to show you some of those in a minute. Uh, we're having fun with it, and so if I bust out laughing, it's because I'm remembering. But uh, I do want to talk about some of the good ways first. Uh, you know, we very much value short-term mission. And if we think about some of the values of short-term mission in our organization, uh, there are real long-term benefits to it. Uh, and so I want to talk about some good ways to come back. And so we kind of think of these as, as suggestions or even rules. Rules for coming back and coming back well. Uh, and generally, we try to make rule number one, talk about your trip. It is good to talk about your trip. Uh, and really, it's best to think of the trip in a few short, maybe one to three minute stories and segments. And rule number two about talking about those trip, the, the trip and, and those segments is to put God at the center of the successes, to put God at the center of the story. So rule number two really is don't be the hero of your own story. Let God be the hero of the story. Let God be the hero of those three-minute segments that you talk about your trip for. Uh, and another rule, uh, maybe rule number four, could be to say don't come back hating your home culture. Sometimes there's a temptation to do that. We want to avoid the temptation that sometimes crops up to say, yeah, somebody else's culture, that culture is just so much better than mine. And we've had this, this sensory overload and this, this emotional crack that is a short-term mission trip, like spiritual crack, and, and, and it's just like so high, and we come back and realize life here isn't that short-term mission trip, and, and we draw the wrong conclusion sometimes. The wrong conclusion is that life here sucks, or that our culture is better. And that's, that's a bad conclusion. It's different, but it's not worse. Uh, and another one of the rules and, and, and good ways uh, to come home is to be changed. To think about your trip as something that now informs your future walk with God. Uh, so even if mission trips and another culture and foreign, uh, foreign culture and experience, and even if all of those things are old hat for you, make it a point to be changed. Your trip can indeed be a step, a milestone, in your spiritual walk and discipleship. And so that's a few of the rules uh, that we think of uh, for good ways to come home. I want to show you some good examples of bad ways to come home right now. So man, how was your trip? It was awesome. Uh, that country was, was, was so good. It's so much better than here. I love their culture. The people there are so friendly. And, and, and it made me realize how, how much stuff we have that we just don't need. Like, I can't stand my country. They don't even have hot water over there. I'm not going to use hot water anymore. <laughs> Disgusting. Undisciplined. We, we don't know how to do community. We don't know how to be nice and friendly to other people. <sighs> I can't stand it. So how was your missions trip? It was good. It was it was so hard, but I did it. I did. It. I don't know if you know, but the food they eat over there, those people, it is nasty. But I held my nose and you know, I did it. And then you know we went to this one village. We had to walk so far, and I was sweating so bad. I was the head of the rest of the group, of course, but it was just, it was hot. And I don't know if you know, but they don't have AC over there, so it was, but I did it. Uh, and, and we went to that village. I saved so many people. Oh my goodness. They'll remember me. Hey, man, how was your trip? Oh man, it was amazing. Um, you know how when I was like five years old, I felt this great calling on my life to be a missionary, and and uh, and then when I was six, you know, I, I just I felt like I should just go wherever in the world. And then my youth pastor, he he thought that I'd be great at missions work, and and uh, and so you know, of course, I I went to Bible college, trained for that, and. And, uh, and then, you know, I went to uh, a couple of missionary trips before then, and uh, I feel like God really used me there, and I had a great time, and souls were saved, and, and, uh, and then this other trip came up, and I was like, man, I, I should go on this trip too. I just feel this, this is what I should be doing with my life, and, and uh, so I went on that, and uh, the, the airport was, was great. Uh, I got to talk to a couple people, you know, not, a, not about Jesus, but I did get to talk to them, and, 
And uh, then I sat beside this crazy woman on the airplane. And